this and girls. Just going past Tom Ugly, going up to Gawley Bay there. This is heat one of the Ken Waggett Trophy for 2018. This is a no final memorial based on points. Our 2017 winner. This is the uh, predominantly orange, black and blue boat of Brian Kilpatrick. My apologies, I would have thought it was Noel Kilpatrick, but it's Adam Kilpatrick driving Shockwave. He's below, he's gone <laughs> so, uh, my apologies once again. It's Adam, not Noel, in uh, Shockwave. Sarpro, bring them up. Bring them up, Sarpo. All right. Jeffrey Javel, they're giving the OK for our start boat to bring our five contestants. Hit one of the Waggot for 2018. Flag is... Down five to ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, trouble on the outside. Adam Ward has got an early lead. He's got to go the wrong way around. The impulse is second on the inside at the 2017 winner. Brian Kilpatrick third, back to the inside. Adam Kilpatrick and back in black bringing up the tails. They're going around Premier Pastors. It's uh, trouble around the outside of Brian Kilpatrick. Patrick courtesy of that inside line having the good uh, having the good ground there but uh, Adam Wood showing outstanding speed on Marina Bayside coming around banks down helicopters coming up to complete one of four great duel for second Brian Kirkpatrick on the inside there of Impulse Joel Kirkpatrick now going into a clear second over Kilpatrick, third place, Adam Kilpatrick in shockwave, back and black, Robbie McIntyre bringing up the tail. Great uh, pictures here on Blendline TV of Adam Kilpatrick in shockwave. But uh, what, he's probably opened up a gap of around about 100 metres now over impulse of two boys from the uh, Raymond Terrace Aquatic Club. They're one two at the moment. So we're going to caution, we're going to caution uh, just coming out of uh, Premier Passes here, back in black, Robbie McIntyre has come, he's moved to the centre of the course. Also Adam Kirkpatrick just coming out of Bankstown Helicopter, Southern Turn, the, uh, the hatch is up there. So he's okay, obviously a mechanical issue. But it's the uh, two uh, Raymond Terrace boys, Adam Wood and John Mason. You can see, uh, particularly our viewers at home, Adam really working over the uh, trouble machine. So we've got one to go. I'd say uh, Brian Kirkpatrick, the, uh, the Melody 11, he may have a bit of an issue because normally that boat is a lot, lot quicker, but he'll want to stay out in the course and gain some points because the three heat races for the Waggot, it's a no final based on points. Checkered flag, ladies and gentlemen. Heat one of the maggot for 2018. Going to Adam Wood. Oh! A big high side of there from uh, Joel Mason. He comes home in second. Third going to Brian Kilpatrick. We've given uh, Jeffrey uh, Javel giving the start boat the OK. We can see the white flag aloft our start boat. So it's Bollins, Bailey, Banks and Troy. Flag is down, ladies and gentlemen. Getting the best though is probably Greg Banks, the number 14. He's charged for an early lead over Bailey. On the uh, outside, Troy. And back to the inside is Bollins. So coming out to Premier Fasters.
Bailey getting very high at the front. Look at this duel, ladies and gentlemen, on Marina Bayside. Bailey on the inside, Banks on the outside, uh, in excess of 125 mile per hour. Look at this coming up to Banks down helicopters. It's Bailey in tight, Banks in right, on, uh, on the outside. Great racing coming out to complete uh, one lap, side by side, these two. Back in third, Simon Troy and Timmy Bowens back in uh, fourth place. Look at Bailey on the inside. He's reclaimed the lead over Banks, but Banks has hung on to the outside. And gets a uh, really good uh, lean out from the car's park into the course of Bailey. He's got that top end speed. The number 20 just in front of the, the 14. Where are we? So yellow flag out and being displayed. Bailey, the local favourite. He's won every major race at this venue. If he hasn't won it, it's not worth winning. Simon Troy hanging on to a good third and Timmy Bowen's in fourth. So it looks like Bailey shook up Banks. He shook up Banks. So halfway down the Marina Bay side, back straight, the two and a half litre fuel injected Mercury. He comes out of Bankstown helicopters onto the Sydney Jetties front straight. Check it flag time, ladies and gentlemen. Taking the Sydney Business Insurance check it flag. Craig Bailey, Greg Banks, the number 14 in second. Homing third will be Simon Troy just coming out of Bankstown helicopters. Timmy Bollins, he's slowed significantly on uh, Marina Bayside. He'll, he'll come home in uh, fourth place. But uh, by Jingo's, by Craigie's, what a race we had there for two laps. Of course, the uh, Riverside, an Australian championship. We can see the Martin family, Emma Lundberg. Six litre open, three laps. Now for anyone that uh, hasn't been to powerboat racing before, just have a look at this big uh, hydroplane, the six litre hydroplane of Stevie Scott will throw absolute swimming pools of water up in the air, particularly out of the corners. So white flag up, Hearn out of one, Mason out of two, and Scott on the outside out of three. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Emma Lundberg for 2018, off Steve Scott. He broke the start there, but to Hearn, he's got the good start on the inside. Followed by Scott and uh, Mason. But uh, Hearn, he's got that good real estate on the inside. Just coming out of uh, Premier Fasters. Oh, look at uh, Impulse Brendan Mason. He's got a bit of a charge. Scott's gone to the outside. So on the Marina Bay side, first time around. Chris Hearn leads out. Good battle for second and third. Scott comes around the outside of uh, Brendan Mason there. Look at the water! He's in the it, Stevie Scott from Point Clare in Melbourne. His impulse made up a lot of ground on the inside, pushed Scott back to third. Then the City Jetty's front straight. He's taken that uh, second spot over once again. He's nailed to the fence as young Mason. This is where he's going to make the ground up on the big six litre hydro. But it's still Hearn holding up the challenges. Of course, Chris Hearn, this is one of the best six leaders in the country. So boats heading into uh, Bankstown helicopters. Good battle for second and third. Impulse on the inside, Aqua Magic on the outside. Yellow flag being displayed, one to go. So on our last lap, ladies and gentlemen, will uh, Chris Hearn hang on here? Oh, look at the water. You can see uh, the, the turn fins absolutely working overtime there on uh, the Steve Scott boat. I tell you what, it's been a wonderful display from Brendan Mason in Impulse. He's giving away a lot of horsepower there. Five litre against six litre. But it's uh, 
Sydney Business Insurance check it play going to Chris Hearn. Look at this battle for the second. Scott's going to take it over uh, Impulse. But uh, what a finish that we've had there. Probably uh, only three. No, we had four for heat two of the Riverside. Of the wagon, up, beg your pardon. It's uh, Adam Wood once again. Heat two of the wagon. Adam Wood charges to an early lead from uh, Brian Kilpatrick. That boat sounding a hell of a lot better. Impulse has moved up in the third on the inside. Back in break in fourth place. So four laps, ladies and gentlemen. Adam Wood. He's done the job again, he's uh, got in front of Impulse, but the two boys there from Raymond Terrace, a one-two again. They lead out from Kilpatrick, Robbie McIntyre back in fourth place. So boats just coming around, Bankstown helicopters, of course, heat to the wagon. Undo uh, Sydney Jetty's front straight. Wow, look at this. Adam Wood, is he going to make it two out of two? He completes lap one of four. So John Mason in second, a similar gut back to uh, Brian Kilpatrick. Robbie McIntyre holding fourth. The Wood family being involved in power boat racing for a long time. Of course, his dad, uh, Graham, quite often at club days and the like, gets behind the wheel of uh, the trouble boat. This boat been a very good boat for a long, long time. There's a bit of a dipsy doodle there coming out of Bankstown helicopters onto Sydney Jetty's front straight. So there's two or four, two or four down. We can uh, see Wood, he's pulled away a little bit on Impulse. Impulse may be falling into the lap of uh, Melody 11. So coming out of Premier Fast, as Kilpatrick certainly made up a lot of ground here on Impulse. Yet coming onto Marina Bayside, he hit a bit of dirty water there. So his momentum stopped and stopped very quickly. So boats coming out of Marina Bay side, around Bankstown helicopters and under the Sydney Jetty's front straight. They will receive the yellow flag and one to go, one to go for Adam Wood. Will uh, Kilpatrick, will he make a charge? He took uh, third in heat, uh, heat one. He needs those points, it's, base, it's a points based uh, Memorial over three races. Adam Wood won the first one. Is he going to make uh, a two out of two? Oh, went pulse. He was stopped on the uh, Marina Bay side back straight. Terribly bad luck for John Mason there. He's had a gremlin. We can see the lid up. He's okay. So taking the uh, Sydney Business Insurance checkered flag, Adam Wood. He's done the Richie Benno, two out of two. Second home, Brian Kilpatrick. Robbie McIntyre still on the uh, Marina Bay side, back straight. We can see a lot of vapour coming out of the exhaust of the impulse machine. We can see our rescue craft. They're heading out uh, over to retrieve that boat. So we've got four laps, ladies and gentlemen. If this don't turn you on, nothing does. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Heat one of the Riverside Trophy for the 2018. Dean Barry's back a long, long way. Don't know what happened there. So we're going to start. So Banks leads out from Bailey. Scott on the outside. Look at Dean Barry right on the inside. He's got a right on the inside. He's pushing the third or twelve and uh, coming up to Premier Fasters. But uh, Barry has stopped com coming out of Premier Fasters. So Banks leads out from uh, Bailey. Damon Thurger, he has stopped on the Marina Bayside back straight as well. So Banks leads out from Bailey. Who's in third? Stevie Scott. 
Simon Troy moves in the fourth around the outside of Tim Bowens. Unfortunately, our two unlimited displacements, they have stopped. Oh, look at Bailey, he's made a big charge on Banks at the front of the field. A really good duel here for third and fourth. It's Scott on the outside, Bowens on the inside. They've shook off that Simon Troy. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, head of the field. We've got Doug Bailey charging on that Banks here. You can see our viewers at home, they're seeing this great duel from, uh, oh, look at uh, Timmy Bowens down the 27. He's got on the inside of C. Scott. You see Simon Troy now on the Marina Bay at Bayside back straight, making a big charge on Scott. But heading on to the uh, Sydney Jetties front straight. Good vision there at Banks in the 14. Leading out from Bailey. He's going to try and reverse the uh, placings we saw earlier this morning. So it completed two and a half laps, ladies and gentlemen. Banks holding a lead here over Bailey. One to go. One to go for Greg Banks. So Banks heading down the premier fastest. This is a great job for uh, third and fourth here. Bowen Scott has made, beg your pardon, uh, Simon Troy's made up a lot of ground here on the outside. So uh, there we go, Simon Troy, good run from Simon. He's moved into uh, third, but uh, Curtis is the inside. Tim has got that good uh, real estate. So coming on to the Sydney Jetties front straight, ladies and gentlemen, he won of the Riverside 2018. That goes to GBR, Glen Banks uh, Racing. The number 14 beats uh, 20, Craig Bailey Marine for Kenton Machinery. He's home in second. So 14 beats 20. And Simon Troy, he's moved from fifth to third. Great drive, Simon. He comes home in uh, third place. The double eight uh, machine. The number 27 of uh, Tim Bowens. The, uh, the hydroplane has gone right off song. He comes home fifth. The Steve Ann took. This is heat one. We lost uh, Steve a couple of years ago. Tragic. So these guys will be uh, wanting to put the, uh, the Tuck Trophy on the mantelpiece this weekend. So Mojo on the inside. That's uh, Tom Carl. He leads, uh, well, he doesn't lead out because uh, Paul uh, Sala, he uh, looks like he's moved into the lead, pushing Peter Sane back to third. But uh, Tommy Carl, he's come back on the inside. I beg your pardon, that's Paul Sane in second, the Trim King. And uh, Peter Zala coming in uh, third place. These guys got it their own category now in the Australian Final Powerboat Grand Prix Series. We saw them at Newcastle and highly spectacular. One down, two to go. These uh, boats traditionally, in uh, the Mojo case, was a, a former ski boat. So you can see him getting very, very high indeed. So Carl leading out from Sane and Sala in third. So they're on uh, lap two of three. So Tom Carl in the uh, 085, just coming in, coming out of Marina Bayside into Bankstown helicopters. He shook off uh, Paul Sane. The Trim King in second place.
And Peter Zala in Crazy Duck Racing, he's in third place. So the boat's currently on their last lap. <laughs> For our spectators, you can uh, see a yellow flag being strung from the tower. For our Blendline uh, TV viewers, we can see last lap and uh, the dot of yellow there. So Tom coming out of Marina Bay side, just coming through Bankstown helicopters and finally on the Sydney Jetties front straight and he will take the Sydney Business Insurance checkered flag. Tom Carl, he's taken off where he left, well he's, where he left off at Newcastle. It's been a winner thon for Tom. Paul Sala taking second place in Trim King and Crazy Duck Racing. Peter Zane coming home in third place. Heat three of the wagon for 2018, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're missing impulse. But here we go. It's a trouble out of two. He's a holder of uh, two of the, the first two heats. He leads out from Kilpatrick, but Kilpatrick, he's got the inside line. Back to third, Robbie McIntyre back in Blake and the blue boat there. Adam Kilpatrick in shockwave. Oh, here we go. He's one for the books. Kirkpatrick, that's the blind version. He leads out in Melody 11 from uh, Adam Wood in trouble. She's looking at trouble. He's coming up. He's going to put the lean on uh, Kirkpatrick very shortly. Coming into Bankstown helicopters. So Kirkpatrick comes onto the Sydney Jetties front straight. He leads out from trouble. He'll be fully conscious. He just needs a good result here to take the wagon. He just want to keep the boat uh, nice and stable. Won't want to do any rash. McIntyre, he holds third. Adam Kilpatrick in shockwave, the new boat. That is in fourth place. So out of Premier Fasters onto the Marina Bayside back straight. It's still Brian Kilpatrick. Four laps this last heat for the Waggot for 2018. Two down, two to go. So we've got two down, half the race completed, half to go. So Kip Patrick, the boat sounding a lot, lot stronger. Of course, he was a victor at this time last year. But may have to settle for second this year. The Kilpatricks have been in the sport a long, long time. Flag. So the yellow flag being displayed. So one lap to go for all our competitors. We did speak to Adam after heat two. These boats doing a roughly around about 105. We've had a uh, big spin, spin, spin. Yeah, so that uh, looks like uh, the Melody boat. We've got our course boat divers all on the scene. So the driver is out, ladies and gentlemen. Great news there. So the driver is out. That's great news. He's obviously that uh, corner notorious. The water can really boil there. And the beautiful metal, the 11, upside down. If we're going to reversal save placings and Bailey wins over Banks, we then look back. Time, 
on the fastest time of each heat. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, heat two of the Riverside for 2018. Oh, great start uh, by Banks uh, on the uh, inside. Bailey on the outside, Simon Troy further out, and uh, Timmy Bowens, he's back in fourth. Oh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Bailey's come up on the outside of Banks on the back side. Uh, Marina back straight. Banks on the inside. Bailey on the outside. Who is it going to be? Holding third. This Simon Troy over in fourth. Tim Bowens. Bailey's going in really deep. He going into Banks and helicopters. See him coming out really wide, right, keeping his foot in the bucket. Good corner, however, from Banks. So that's one of four on the uh, Sydney Jetty's front straight. So Banks, look at the outright speed of Bailey on the outside. But he's going to have that good real estate on the inside. His great Banks. He's going to make him really work around the outside. So Simon and Tim quite lonely back in third and fourth, so the action's for one and two. Two down, two to go. Greg taking quite a wide path. Sprint car light coming out of Bankstown Helicopters was the number four of their machine. He took Tim in a chairman's last year. He'll be hoping to take home the 2018 Riverside. He's completed half, he's got half to go. He's opened up a little bit of a gap over Craig, however. But uh, Craig will know every kilometre of water in beautiful Cogra Bay. So coming up to take the yellow flag. Oh, Craig's, uh, Craig uh, Bailey may have lost an engine there. We heard a big rev. So he stopped halfway down the Sydney Jetty's front straight. So there goes his riverside. It was a big rev from Bailey. But uh, moving back onto the 14 machine, just coming out of Marina Bayside through Bankstown helicopters. And the final time, ladies and gentlemen, on the Sydney Jetty's front straight. So, ladies and gentlemen, taking the checkered flag, Greg Banks, congratulations, taking the 2018 Riverside Trophy. In second place in Heat 2 goes to Simon Troy. And in third place comes home Timmy Bollins. Trim King comes out of one, Crazy Duck out of three, and out of two is Mojo Racing Tom Carl. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Trim King out of one, Mojo Racing out of two, out of three, Crazy Duck. That's closest to us here in the tower. White flag is down. Look at this great pictures we're seeing on Blendline TV. Trim King holding the inside. He's going to force Tom Carl on the outside. So boat's going out of premium fastness onto the uh, Bayside Marina. Back straight. Paul Sane just holding Tom Carl, holding into his right. Tom's making a big charge down the outside. Very interesting. <laughs> Great pitches on blend line we've got. Much more direct corner there coming from Paul Sane. But with his foot right in the back. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We may see a change of the lead. Tom Carr really give, giving it a footfall. Going down Sydney Jetty's front straight. They put a fair old gap now on Peter Zala in Crazy Duck. But uh, a great battle at the head of the field. So Paul doing a wonderful job. These boats really not designed for this kind of course. But TK, he had a fabulous round at the Newcastle Grand Prix round of the uh, the Outboard Series over the Australia Day long weekend. <laughs> oh, look at this. Paul's come back on the inside. We actually can't see the Mojo racing. He's caught up in the spray there somewhere. Oh, here he comes. 
just got an absolute shower of water. But we've won the go, yellow flag being displayed to our drivers. Has Paul got a race winning lead? I don't think so. Not Tom Carl. He won't give in. For our blend line viewers, you can see the uh, last lap. In the top left hand corner of the screen, yellow flag being displayed. But uh, coming out of Premier Fasteners onto the uh, Marina Bay side, uh, back straight. This is possibly a race winning lead. Paul, uh, I believe, resides in the Liverpool area. He's about to come out of Bankstown helicopters onto the Sydney Jetty's front straight. So well done to uh, Paul Sane there, driver of Trim King, taking the win from Mojo Racing in third place. Will be uh, Peter Zara. So taking the Sydney Business Insurance checkered flag in first place, Paul Sane, Trim King. Mojo Racing, Tom Carlin second. And in third place, Peter Zara. He comes home in third. Coming up for our first 105 mile per hour run for the day. Gonna see uh, the wagon winner here. Coming out of two, that's of course Trouble. Adam Wood. Along on the inside, Peter Hall in Crackers. And on the outside is Adam Kilpatrick in Shockwave. But uh, Adam leading the merry dance. Oh, good uh, inside pass here from uh, Peter Hall. Not sure, Adam's gone off the course. Adam off the course. Not sure what happened with uh, Adam there. Not really sure what happened. Of course, these boats, they have GPS on them. They're restricted to 105 mile per hour. I tell you what, Adam's got his work cut out now because he's only got another two laps to get on the tail of Peter Hall. Pete driving the boat craggers. Pete said in an earlier interview today, the boat got its name when he mentioned to his wife and he wanted to go power boat racing. She said, you'd be crackers. That's how the boat got its name. Well, we've had... Unfortunately, both our second and third place boats have moved to the center of the course. So Hawley, all he has to do is to keep circulating. Keep circulating. And the race is his. So he's got one more lap. He's coming out of Bankstown helicopters onto Sydney jetties. Oh, great uh, picture coming from uh, Blendline TV. Look at this. Seeing Pete going into Premier Fasteners there. Just out of the lead, out of uh, Premier Fasteners, onto the Marina Bay side. It must be an electrical issue with Adam Wood because he's just got that boat really fired. So it must have been an electrical issue. Because when he was uh, leading Peter, it stopped as if shot. Really good uh, pitches coming through on blend line. Just moving back to uh, Adam Wood. But uh, on the Sydney Jetty's front straight, taking the Sydney Business Insurance checkered flag, going to Peter Hall in the boat crackers. And uh, second place will be taken by Adam Wood. Unfortunately, Adam Kilpatrick not completing the race. Sitting uh, in the middle of the course, a beautiful shock, shockway boat. Still in Gawley Bay. Should have a start very, very shortly. 
Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, coming up to the start. Oh, boat's very close indeed. Here we go. We've got Mojo racing on the outside. Right flag down. Here we go. So all boats heading towards Premier Fasteners. Who's it going to be? It's Mojo Racing, Tom Carl on the outside. Look at this, side by side by side. Fabulous Racing coming out of Premier Fasteners on the Marina Bay side. The TK, Tommy Carl, he heads out from the Trim King. Paul Sane, Peter Zala back in third. Now we saw an outstanding drive from Sane in heat two. He got out in front. Can he come from behind? He's gone for the inside line, but Carl, he's too experienced to fall for that. He's kept the foot right in the bucket, but kept all the momentum as well. So the uh, first of three laps being completed. We can feel that uh, northern nor'easter coming down the course. We're conscious uh, of the wind kicking up later today. That's why we've really charged into our program and made sure all our blend line viewers and all our spectators get to see the whole car. Look at that great view there that followed up Trim King. So he's still holds second, but I'll tell you what, he's made some ground here. He's made some ground on Mojo. Tom Cole just had to make sure he's not smoking the pipe too early because here comes uh, Paul Sane. He's come in much, much tighter and he's much closer this time. He's having a decent go at Tommy. <laughs> so probably three to four boat lengths in front. He's got one lap to go. We can see on blend line, boats, uh, we can see the uh, pate of Sane in uh, clear picture. So he's only got three quarters of a lap to do something. So we've had a, uh, a half spin there from the Trim King. So that's probably opened up enough lead for Tom Carr. Heading towards Gawley Bay there on the Marina Bay side back straight. So final time out of Bankstown helicopters and onto the Sydney Jetty's front straight. Well done Tommy Carl. That's two out of three for Tom today. Tom taking the uh, Sydney Business Insurance Checkered Flag over Paul Sane in Trim King, Pete Sala home in third, and Crazy Duck Racing. Last race of the day, ladies and gentlemen, the 24th of February 2018, the Harold Troy. Here we go. Chevy Chase, Chevy Chase has broken down, but uh, we've got a white flag still aloft. Down it goes. Look at Dougie Smith right down the outside. But uh, Great Banks, Great Banks has uh, charged the lead over the rug. Explicit on the inside. So coming up the Premier Fasters on the inside. And oh, high sides it. Hearn high sides it. And Banks gets out to an early lead. Looks like Simon Troy moving into third place. Look at Hearn. Hearn's really getting on the plate now. Good battle for uh, third and fourth. Coming out of the east side, Simon Troy still holding fourth. One gone, two to go. So one down, two to go. Greg Banks, is he going to make it a day to remember? He's charged away from Chris Hearn. Look at Bollins. Bollins has made big rounds here on Chris Hearn. He's pushed uh, Troy back to fourth. Aqua Magic fifth. And sixth place is uh, Dougie Smith. So one and a half to go on the Marina Bay side, back straight. Greg Banks, has he got a race winning world lead? So Chris Hearn, saying some really good power on Marina Bay side. Banks is just coming out of the Banks down helicopters. So we got a uh, caution flag on the uh, Premier Fasters end of the course. Banks has got one to go. Has it? 
Has Bones got any part of that Chris Hearn here? Let's remember, Chris is going to find it a lot tougher with that water boiling up in the corners. You can see Bones has made up a lot of ground here on the outside. But Hearn will uh, get, get on the button, and he does. So he opens up that lead, so we're going to get a very interesting last corner. But speaking of last corner, coming out of Beast and helicopters under the Sydney Jetties front straight. Congratulations on getting the Sydney Business Insurance check at Bragg in the 2018 Harry Troy. But ladies and gentlemen, look at this second place. On the outside, here goes Bowens. Oh, who is it? No, that's a definitely uh, explicit by a Terry Hope paper. He Take second, third to Bowens. Simon Troy fourth. Steve Scott, he takes fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, and once again we said we'd uh, at 10 o'clock. It has gone 10 o'clock and the race committee made a decision to abandon the day's racing. We are sorry for that. We've certainly looked at the water conditions. We've looked at the weather. We've got some feedback from uh, on the water uh, down the coast and uh, the, the prediction that it is not going... Every time I stand in between the uh, train and the control a blackout so uh, yes the decision has been made the weather we've we've been uh, uh, told that is not going to uh, vary very much may make it even worse we would certainly like all the drivers that to come to the present uh, in 20 minutes time every driver and all our officials and our uh, volunteers we would like to uh, see you here in 20 minutes time at the uh, at the presentation there are some uh, special uh, acknowledgements that we do want to make so uh, every driver that participated yesterday will be rewarded so uh, on behalf of the st george powerback club we do say we're extremely sorry we are looking for the option to be able to uh, run uh, some of these significant events at a later date um, but uh, we need to work through that so uh, some of these uh, very important trophies we would still like to run uh, on top of that don't forget our uh, both the uh, fabulous food here on the uh, on the deck is available yeah uh, the powerboat club have got uh, sausage sandwiches and that's still uh, uh, bubbling away down there so grab a coffee and uh, wander into the uh, the present in uh, close to 15 minutes time so uh, our apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it was looking great. We had some fabulous weather yesterday. Those that weren't here were able to look at it at uh, the blend uh, online. And uh, some absolutely fabulous racing uh, was viewed from people all over the country. Had significant numbers shown on the, uh, on the counter, up to 4,000 people uh, watching that uh, yesterday, courtesy of Blendline, and uh, some great coverage. Uh, they picked up there. So uh, presentation minutes time. Please bring your crew along with you, uh, and we also would like to see our volunteers and our uh, our officials in there. See you soon in the Sapphire Room.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're just about to kick off the presentation, so we'd like all the, uh, the drivers and their crew to uh, make their way into the uh, Sapphire Room, and particularly our volunteers. Our volunteers have worked very hard yesterday and again this morning. We also like our uh, volunteers there. As I mentioned earlier, everybody who uh, competed yesterday uh, will be uh, there for... Uh, we would like to see you there. There is something special for you all. So uh, getting very close to ready to rock and roll. Trophies are out. The special envelopes are there. So if we could have you back inside, it'd be appreciated.
I can remember doing this many years ago at Taree on the Aquatic Festival when we used to link in and do a live cross to the cricket and in the drinks break we used to do a, uh, a, a one race. So we had to have it down to about five seconds at a time. Hello and good uh, morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Craig Lins, my name, as a lot of you know, I uh, was a commentator for the weekend and really enjoyed myself. Unfortunately, uh, weather had a big uh, deal with us today, unfortunately, but uh, thank you for everyone uh, for coming back today. Sometimes, as I said to someone a little bit earlier, this club just needs a really good dose of luck because it's had some really bad luck the last couple of days. And, uh, you know, there's a whole heap of people within this club that have worked really hard uh, for, for, as it turns out, one day's racing. Um, without further ado, if you'd just like to put your hands together for the Commodore of the St George Powerboat Club, Mr Ian Bound. Thanks, Craig. Uh, don't go away. Um, before we get into the proceedings and why you're here... Um, I'd just like to present you with this uh, token of appreciation for the efforts that you put in. Um, every time uh, that you're here, the whole professionalism of, of our events just steps up another level. And I think it's stepped up another level this weekend with the, with the live stream and everything else. And it wouldn't be the same without you and your expertise and, and your knowledge of the drivers and the background interviews. Uh, all the comments have been absolutely uh, superb this weekend about the job you've done. So. Again, thank you. I very much appreciate it. I know uh, how busy you are and uh, to take the time and come and be part of our, our uh, presentation is great. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Just a uh, just quick word, everyone. Um, I just want to thank everyone for making the time, well, for making it available for me. Big thank you to the people at Blendline. They've really lifted the game of uh, our spectacular this weekend and I'm sure they'll be back for the third and fourth years. Um, it just makes it so much better. We've had a lot of positive thoughts and some of the, some of the footage we got out on the water yesterday, um, I thought I was going to be working with a little monitor. I had an 82 inch TV in the control tower and it was really good to work with. So um, thanks very much to St George, thanks very much to all the volunteers and a very big thank you to Blendline. Thank you. Thanks again Craig. Uh, as Craig's alluded to, the, the weekend is all based on, on supporters, volunteers and, and sponsors. Our major sponsor and, and have been for many years, the St George Motorboat Club. So just a, a heartfelt thanks to um, David Blythe, the club president, and Adrian Vermeulen, the, the CEO of the club, for all the support, not only on this weekend, but in the lead up to it. Uh, all of this TV and uh, the extra coverage wouldn't be possible. Uh, without their support, as indeed the race meeting. If we didn't have the support of the St George Motorboat Club, we wouldn't be here. So, gentlemen, thank you very much. Very much appreciated. And we uh, look forward to keep working with you in the future. Uh, all of our other sponsors, Marina Bayside, Mark Havener was down here most of the day yesterday. Uh, and our most recent uh, sponsor, uh, Sydney Business Insurance. Alan's here this morning. Thanks, Alan. Very much appreciated coming on board. Uh, Alan's sort of uh, had the introduction to boat racing and uh, all looks promising for the future. Um, thank you. Once we stop, finish our presentation, uh, we'll do the raffle drawing, but uh, the major contributors to that is Bankstown Helicopters. Uh, Di's not here at the moment because of uh, our early uh, start to this presentation, but we're most grateful to Bankstown Helicopters, two uh, magnificent prizes. I was just talking to the guy that went to one last uh, year's prize and uh, he had a great time in the helicopters and uh, so I highly recommend it. And, and thank you for everybody for the patronage of supporting that. Maybe Marine and Matt Robinson uh, was down here yesterday afternoon. Three of the course boats were provided by Matt and maybe Marine, as is uh, our safety vest. So thanks, Matt, and maybe Marine for all your support. Coca-Cola have uh, come on board again uh, this year. Uh, major supporter and contributor to uh, the, the Blendline TV broadcast. So thank you, Coca-Cola. Gencom Communications, they, uh, they supplied all the uh, extra radios for the course. Paddy's Hire and all the fencing. Palaces have uh, contributed uh, with another 50-inch uh, colour television for the raffle prize. 
Uh, Future IT is uh, always looking after us on the website. Premier Fasteners, Ivan was around yesterday putting out hats and everybody, so I think he's got his money's worth. Uh, John Woodford and Woodford Cargo, our treasurer, he's uh, put together all the flyers and all the other bits and pieces. Um, Nick Ames at Net Newt Marine, keeping things going. Prices from the Captain's Grill and the Bay Bridge Cafe, again courtesy of the uh, St Jordan Motorboat Club. And David Blythe himself has uh, contributed uh, prize money for the, for the uh, Barry Sharp Memorial. So uh, thank you, David, again, for a, a huge supporter. Uh, and aid signs for putting all these banners together. Um, speaking of volunteers, there's, there's so many to, to thank in the room. Uh, Lenny, a partner in crime, and uh, we've been going pretty flat out for the last month and uh, lead up to that, so he's going to get a life back and all, all will be good at home again. Uh, Rondo's been running around madly doing everything, and I think she's actually probably done more than me, but oh, oh she's his. Uh, so thank you for all, for all your support um, and all of the volunteers that have been here all the weekend. I know all the races. Thank you for your support. It's a challenge to get people here sometimes, but we appreciate your continued support of this club and the racing. And uh, we are um, going to um, keep things going as, as best we can. We're trying to reinvigorate the club's days to, uh, to run on a Saturday afternoon, perhaps. Uh, so we're looking at all the options. We're looking at running vintage boats or older boats that are in sheds to keep the uh, tradition going here. Um, as far as today, again beaten by the weather. Unfortunate, but uh, safety is paramount in our mind and it's just not worth the risk. We, we had a good day's racing yesterday, so thank you for everybody who uh, contributed to that. What we're going to do with any uh, major races that were scheduled for today, we're going to put them over to our next club day, which is the 24th of June. So we'll uh, try and run our major races from today. Uh, the Champion Champions and a few others on the 24th of June. So we'll keep an eye on the website and Facebook. We'll let you know more about that to see who is available to run on that day. We've got the uh, New South Wales Formula Future Championships running on the Sunday. So we'll make it another big weekend. Uh, there'll be prize money. The prize money not given out today will be available on um, on that 24th of June. So put that day in your, in your, in your calendars. Um, I'm running off the cuff here. A few thank yous. Jeff Duval, if you could step up. Um, as you know, Jeff's been officer of the day and running the show out there for a couple of uh, spectaculars now. So, Geoffrey, on behalf of the St George Powerback Club, thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Uh, I wouldn't happy without uh, your contribution. My job is really easy. Thank you very much for that and thanks for the thought. My job is really easy because once I get out there, I've got a, such a fantastic crew, both in the control tower and a very special thanks to uh, Glenn Burns for doing the APBA refereeing yesterday and the other paperwork that he did for me. Thanks very much. But I also rely in running these meetings with all those people out in the water and the guys who go out bright and early and man the turn boats and then the guys who work really hard in the crash boats, the rescue boats, the divers and our paramedics and that can't do without you and you're sight unseen and uh, you can't do enough for us so thank you very much to those guys really appreciate it fabulous team we've got thanks Jeff uh, appropriate you mentioned Glenn Glenn Burns if you, uh, you want to jump up here if you can here we are uh, as Jeff said Glenn was in the tower all day yesterday and I still don't know how he does it he's got paper well, he hasn't. It's got one little piece of paper in front of him. All the race results are recorded. All the times are, are exact and precise. And at the end of the day, he hands you a piece of paper with everything's done. So unbelievable, Glenn. Again, thank you for your support, as always. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we had a lady running around the boat ramp yesterday issuing instructions or, or requests this year. Um, and again, Joy, Joy Smith. Thank you very much for your contribution. It, it, like everybody else, it just wouldn't work. Yeah, come up. Thank you, ma'am. It's, uh, it's just a, a small token of, of the, our appreciation for what you do, for um, not only for this club, but uh, for, for boat racing generally in this state. It's, it's, it's great. Thank do you, you want to sing a song? Pleasure. No, no. I might <laughs> tap dance or just put no. Thank you, Joy.
Um, yesterday we had the uh, unfortunate event of, uh, of Melody um, flipping over and it's did a fair bit of damage to the bottom of it, but thankfully everything worked well in terms of safety. The cell work, uh, the driver was able to... Um, he actually waited for the, the water to get into the boat, release himself and swim out without any injury whatsoever, as far as we could would determine. Um, and the safety uh, boat was there within 20 seconds and the divers are in the water. So all of the services and the safety issues we, that are in place, uh, not only here but through all the APBA events, went according to plan and all worked extremely well. Um, like uh, any issue uh, of that nature, there's always an incident report to follow up. And uh, I was very fortunate yesterday to have Ron Beasley here, the safety officer for New South Wales. And he was able to um, take charge of that. So, Ron, are you you're here? He's headed. He's headed? Well, I'll, I'll catch up with in the next meeting. But uh, in his absence, uh, a big thanks to him. Uh, we couldn't get a better boat to manage uh, an incident. So, thanks, Ron. Uh, Michael Newton and Ricky Howard, you guys who were um, here yesterday doing the scrutiny, scrutineering for us. Uh, again, without your involvement, it wouldn't work. And I'm walking away from the camera. But Michael, thank you. And Ricky, thanks, thanks again. Very much appreciate it. It doesn't work. You don't want to sing a song? No. <laughs> um, Under the um, course boats, Dave and William Sullivan. Are you guys? Yeah, I am. Thank you, guys. Thank you that. Dave comes down from uh, from deep water every year. He's always a part of our uh, contribution. Um, and got some work yesterday. As always, greatly appreciated. No problem. Thank you. Course boats, Scott. Scott Bound, and uh, he's offside of William Billington. He can't, he can't be here today, but um, it turns into a bit of a family affair. Shame about the haircut. Thank you for that. <laughs> and Joe, Joe and Bob aren't here at, at, at this morning, are they? No. They've, uh, they've seen the, the uh, weather. Uh, Jim and Rob here? No, he's on the boat. Well, Bob Edwards, he's tucked away. We're going, going very, very well. Uh, what have we got? Dennis Murphy's not here. No. Okay. I think we're right for those. I think we're done. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm not very good at TV. As everybody tells me, I've got a good head for radio. But uh, I think we're just about right uh, to, to move in the official presentations. Um, we presented for the Riverside yesterday, but in my haste to get things happening, we forgot to present the, the small trophies. So, uh, are the guys still here? Greg Banks. Greg Banks, he's, should be still here. Oh, here's Jim now. You can have that to the other big one. Say a few words. Um, yeah, just big thanks to the, the club, the volunteers, the officials, um, the Blendline TV, the rescue dives, everyone, um, Dad, David, all the guys for helping um, the crew like, catching the boat and the crane driver and, yeah, just all the other competitors in the race for, um, for a great day. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, you had a, a pretty good day yesterday. A shame we couldn't keep it going today. Simon Troy. Simon, uh, Simon Troy, second spot on the Riverside. Thanks, Simon. Very much appreciated. I'll just keep it nice and short and sweet. Um, I'd just like to thank the club and everyone for putting it up, put the event on. Um, everyone who turned up, uh, everyone who's watching at home, all my sponsors, my crew, I've probably got the biggest crew running around with all our red shirts, so I'd like to thank them a lot. They, um, they put up with me and, and keep me running, so thank you very much. Good on you. Thank you. Tim Bollins. Tim, Tim Bollins. <laughs> He's gone. I don't know why. What put him off? The weather. We uh, who we got? We got. Yeah. Our, our um, 
Just before we get David, the barbecue ladies here, yes. Rhonda, could you come up, please? I mentioned you before, but uh, we're giving them five minutes off the barbecue. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. You want to say something? Sausages. <laughs> Young Aaron. Thank you. Aaron uh, got a suntan just by standing in front of the barbecue yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. you want to say something? Julie Hardwick. Don't run. Yeah, that one, that's the, yeah, the prize money. Thank you, Julie. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And Maureen Antuck. Hey, um, I'm, I'm guessing everybody took advantage of the, of the ladies' efforts yesterday. Thanks, so much. Thanks Maureen. But, um, yeah, they slave over the, that hot stove. And as I said, Erin uh, looked like she'd been in the sun for about six hours. Uh, from just from the barbecue. All right, the formal presentations. Yep. The results. Who's presenting this day? Yeah. The first major trophy uh, today was uh, yesterday was the Ken Waggett 5.2 litre. Fourth was aftershock. Noel Curl Patrick, and uh, we need somebody with some checks, uh, some envelopes, some check um, envelopes, boys. So Noel Curl Patrick was fourth. Sorry, make that fifth. Type, my typing. Brendan Mason was fourth in Impulse. Third was Bob McIntyre in Back in Black. Second was Brian Kilpatrick in Melody. No. The winner was Graham Wood or Adam Wood in Trouble. David Toyer will present the... Adam, uh, well done. You've added your name to a trophy that's quite prestigious with all the 5-litre boats or 5.2-litre boats um, and your boat went very well yesterday and uh, congratulations on your win. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, the boat did go well yesterday. I'd just like to thank Dad. It's Graham. It's his boat. He does everything. Um, Argo Race Products helps out a fair bit. Bannister Marine. And yesterday, the guys in the start boat done a great job. And I'd personally like to thank the guys in the rescue boats for, for giving Brian a hand and helping him out. And they've done their best. And hopefully, we'll see him back soon. Just a message from the uh, St George Club. They, uh, other than the normal prize money that was there, there is some supplementary uh, uh, cash to uh, support your racing here uh, yesterday. Second's the Harold Troy that we've got, the uh, next uh, big one along the front there. And the Harold Troy, was Adrian Vermeulen was going to present that for us. Adrian's uh, on his... Oh, here he is straight in front. Adrian is the CEO of the uh, St George Motorboat Club and he is going to present the uh, Harold Troy. I'll go the other way this time. Explicit, Chris Hearn is the winner. And I'm not sure whether he's gone home, which is a disappointment. Thanks, Jeff. Um, yeah, the boys from Coca-Cola couldn't be here. They've, uh, they support us greatly and obviously we've passed that on to uh, the boat racing uh, fraternity. Um, we're very proud of our association uh, with the Powerboat Club uh, and we look forward to some better weather next year. The uh, second... I don't know whether I've got the right results here. 
Okay, we've got the, that. So we'll move on to the unlimited outboards. The unlimited outboards are the next uh, envelope. I'll come back to the results of the Harold Troy because I don't believe they're the uh, right results that have been uh, slotted through. So I just need to look at that. Unlimited outboards. And that was for the Steve Antuck Trophy. And Peter was uh, going to present that trophy for us. Peter? Unlimited, okay, that's fine. So Craig Bailey Marine was the winner of that, um, Peter. Craig Bailey with Marine. I'd uh, just like to thank uh, the club. Um, unfortunately, the weather hasn't played in the, their cards right today for us, but yesterday we got through some, through, through some good races, which was nice. I thank my team. I got the... Rod uh, Simpson and Jay Simpson come down from up the coast to help out this weekend. Lee Howe, Trent DeVal, team manager, and always doing, looking after everything for me. Um, and uh, my sponsors for the weekend, Budget Fast, as Ivan's always been a good supporter of us and, uh, and continues supporting us. Ken Tan Machinery, Ken Island from Newcastle. He's got a, uh, three shops now, Newcastle, Taree and Gosford. Any of small machinery, tractors, anything, Kubotas, any of that sort of stuff, he looks after all that. So. Thank you very much. And, um... Thank you, Greg. Second the event was Greg Banks in GBR. No words? Well, um, thank you. Yeah, Sammy and just thanks Dad, David and the girl, Karina, Talia and Brief holding the, the boat in the water. And congratulations to Craig on that race. Um, it was an awesome race to have, and no, he outbested me. So, thanks, Craig. Simon Troy in Triple Eight was uh, third in the uh, unlimited outboards yesterday. I just like to thank my sponsors. Um, I had Town and Country Vehicle Accessories jump on board this weekend, which is a massive help. Um, Cobon. Uh, Material Solutions jumped on board for Newcastle and here, so thank them, and, and also Mainline, uh, major sponsor for me, so I'd just like to thank those guys. Thank you, Simon. Timmy Bollins in Water Sports Marine was fourth in that event. I thought I actually saw him just walking across the, uh, the pad, but maybe not. And Doug Smith in Undertaker was fifth. <laughs> Looks like we're done, guys. Thank you. Bill Ward is next. So our next event is the Bill Ward and Ian Bowen was going to uh, present that for us. That's the one on the very end. It's the 105 class. The winner was Crackers, Peter Hall. With Ian with his hands full. Congratulations, Peter. Well done. Yeah, cheers. Thanks very much. Um, first of all, like everyone else, I want to thank the club for putting the event on. Uh, tough luck with the weather, but yeah. um, for those that turned up and raced, it was very enjoyable. Um, secondly, um, big thank you to Dave Freeman for Cranky Race Engines, does all the work on the boat. Um, thanks to Bruce Lyle and Warwick for crewing. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed the weekend. I certainly did, and um, it's great to get out and support these clubs. So we'll be back. Great, thanks very much. Second, the event was Adam Wood in trouble. He goes for the envelopes. And third, Adam Kilpatrick in aftershock. Nile, on behalf of Adam, anything? Yeah, first of all, I'd like to say my nephew Brian is doing really, really well. He went fishing at five o'clock this morning. <laughs> so it's a really good thing that the sailboats are doing what they're supposed to do because everyone that watched the video from Blenheim realised it was a very, very nasty accident. So on behalf of the rescue crew and everyone else here, thanks heaps from the Melody crew.
and on behalf of my new boat, this was Adam's very first big meeting, and the owner, me, was a bit um, hard on him and telling him to stop because this was wrong or that was wrong. So, but all in all, he did really well and he enjoyed himself. So thank you all. Thanks, guys. I jumped it earlier, Peter. The uh, Sports Monos was the next event and uh, the Steve Antuck uh, Trophy. And Peter is coming forward to uh, present that. Thomas Carl was the winner, driven by uh, driving, driving Mojo Racing. Thomas. Uh, just a big thanks to the club for putting the event on. Uh, being the vice comrade up at Hawkesbury, I know how many people it takes to put on a good event. Um, all the rescue crews out there. My crew chief, Tiny, he's the only one who came out to help. He always does a good job. He's the nicest man in the sport. Uh, there's a thank you missed before. Uh, Mitch Perry in the start boat yeah. brings his own little bullet in here, and he done a great job out there. Nice, fast starts for everyone, so he done a good job. So thanks, buddy. Cheers. <laughs> Second was Paul Sain in TK2. Paul. Okay, third was uh, Peter Zahler in uh, Crazy Duck Racing. We thank the guys for the sports monos. I'd just like to thank the, uh, the sponsors of the sports mono. That's uh, Premier Fasteners, Moby Marine and Sydney Ferries. It was great to see them supporting the uh, Steve Tuck and Tuck race. Thanks very much. Thanks, Peter. Move along to the Emma Lumberg and David Toyer, I oh know David Blythe, if you could uh, present the um, Emma Lumberg for us. I hope this is right. Uh, Chris Hearn, I've got as the winner of the Emma Lumberg, uh, was first explicit. And he wasn't here earlier, so I gather he hasn't arrived out of the blue. So, David, you've lugged that up. It's a beautiful trophy. The Lumbergs go back a long way, along with the Martin family. David, do you want to swap things and just say something? Thanks, Jeff. Um, we at the club here, we're pretty passionate about powerboat racing. In fact, we're very passionate about it. Uh, the Commodore David Toy is a, a well-known name in powerboat racing. I was involved in it for many, many years as Smith or Verify. I remember the Lundberg going down to Jacaranda Avenue in uh, Carring Bar South 40 years ago and buying propellers from them, so that's how long they've been, they've been involved. But all the competitors, everyone I worked with, the powerboat club guys, the volunteers, all the racers, their pit crews, great job. Sorry about the rain, please come back in June. Um, 2020 is the 100th anniversary of this club and we'll be having a spectacular, spectacular. Believe me, it'll be an extra spectacular, spectacular. Thanks for one and all for coming and um, let's hope you get a good one next time. Thank you. Stay, David. Second in the event, all the way from Victoria, Stephen Scott in Aqua Magic. <laughs> Stephen does a huge job in Victoria for the Formula Futures, and he's running up a few uh, avenues at the moment, but uh, a fabulous job down in Victoria, Stephen. Yeah, thanks for that. Um, power boating is my passion, and um, seeing what you guys do up here with the juniors. We're just trying to make it happen in Victoria. But um, this weekend, thank you to the St George Powerboat Club, our second year up here with the Hydro. Um, the hospitality of this club and the people, I won't name names, I'm, I'm not too good with names, but everybody just makes us feel so, so welcome. Um, so the club, the sponsors and all their workers, thank you very much. Um, this boat, we're a small team. Um, we all put in and a lot of other people put in as well, and um, the support we get is just amazing. So um, our major sponsor, th there are a lot, a lot of people that put into this boat, so thank you everybody, but the major people, um, our engine man from HRT Services, Peter Stevens, and uh, his partner, Benny Fox, uh, couldn't come up this weekend. Um, when he had to pull out for work, I rang him up, I said, what are we gonna do, Peter? He said, look, it'll be fine. So um, he trusted us with the boat, so thanks for that, Peter. Um, Marlon Mushrooms, Luscombe Automotive, 
Um, MSC signs, Scotty Patterson, I don't think there's anyone that he doesn't support in boat racing, so thanks, Scotty. Um, and Brian Kenner and SRP Products for, um, for all the safety gear. Um, as I said, our normal crew couldn't come, so uh, I gave Ricky Howard a ring during the week. I said, we're coming up, are you going to St George? He said, yeah, we'll be there. Can you help us out? Not a problem. He said, I'll bring the kids, um, Kobe and Tyler. He said, um, you'll be fine. And um, look, they just fitted straight in. They knew what to do. Nothing was too much trouble. So thanks to the Howard family. And third in the event was Impulse, Brendan Mason. Okay, Brendan. Well done. There's no need to get all dressed up for the today, but um, we appreciate your effort. <laughs> just want to say something? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'd just like to thank uh, Mick and Udo and Brendan for... Well, Brendan actually raced this one. I was in the five litre, but... Um, uh, Price Engines, they helped us out. And, yeah, thanks to the club putting it on. Thank you. Uh, David, while I've got you here, I'd just like to present you with this uh, certificate of appreciation for your support, uh, not only through the motorboat club, but through your own business too. It's, uh, as I mentioned, it's, it's greatly appreciated, and without your support, we wouldn't be here. So thank you, sir. Very much appreciated. Thanks, Ian. As I said before, I personally and the club, we are, we are powerboat oriented people. We will always put a good show. We'll always continue it, no matter what the adversary, be it the weather or finance or squeezing money out of the CEO. Which the, that's the hardest job of the whole thing with this racing, you know. Um, they try and squeeze some money out of it. At the end of the day, we, we get it, so we're all good. Look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you, Adrian. We got halfway through the Harold Troy earlier and I had some wrong results in front of me. And now I'll ask uh, Len Cave if he'd come up with Adrian where we could get through the... Harold Troy correctly. <laughs> Gee, talk about padding. Uh, nice delay, uh, Len. Thanks for that. Um, I had one other presentation for the volunteers, and I, I was going to leave it to last, but we got carried away with the presentations. Um, the start boat. Then somebody just mentioned the start boat. Uh, we had a couple of young blokes out there yesterday, and I'll get them to come up. Um, Reese Sandy and Mitch Perry. There's one young Rhys. I want them to come up so you can have a look at them. Don't go away. Um, but we were so pleased with the, uh, the efforts of you two young guys yesterday. You, I know your dad ran the, the first uh, couple of races, but uh, after that, you bore the responsibility for it. And uh, to have young people of, uh, of your capability involved in boat racing, um, all bodes well for the future. So I was most grateful personally to have uh, young blokes involved in boat racing and involved with this club. So uh, for the future of boat racing and your support, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated and a job well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Very much. I'll catch up with Rhys yesterday. How are you going, Lenny? Getting close. Uh, did I say Richard Perry? Here he is, yeah. Thank you, Richard. Um, you supplied that boat yesterday. Uh, part owner. Part owner. <laughs> uh, made it available. Um, and after last year's effort, what, we have three, three broken start boats? So uh, the reliability uh, and uh, you're making it available is, is most appreciated. So I hope to see you again involved. I know you're an old boat racer, but uh, make a comeback. Thanks, mate. Just while we're waiting on uh, Lem with the results and the Harold Troy, um, it's just about quarter past 11. We as a race committee decided to make a decision to uh, call it very early on today. We didn't want to wait until 3 o'clock this afternoon and keep on postponing. It is still unraceable out there. Uh, but the most important thing is we wanted to make certain that we could get away out of here early if you wanted to and that the people have to travel so, so far that have supported us can actually safely make their ways home. So there are a few of you travelling. We will be thinking of you. We hope that the early departure from here makes your trip home just a little bit easier. So uh, thanks to those who have travelled. And as I say, it is still unraceable out there. 
And Len's got the results. Come on. No, no, I'm just doing the envelopes. The money's more important. Okay. All righty, let's get this right. Thank you, Adrian. And the big trophy in the middle there, the uh, one on the... Thank you, Adrian. Isn't it good to get the CEO to do some work for us? Greg Banks in C uh, GBR was the winner of the Harold Troy. Congratulations, mate. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, just same here. Thank you to everyone, all the, the help there and um, for the day. It sucks about today, but at least we got a good day in yesterday and couldn't have asked for really a better day. So, yeah, thank you to everyone that um, helped make that happen. Thank you, Greg. Second in the event uh, has uh, departed us. Uh, Explicit was a second, then uh, Marine, uh, Water Sports Marine was third, and Simon Troy fourth. Come on down, Simon. Uh, we've got a. Oh, yeah, come on down for the fourth place. And Aqua Magic Stephen Scott was fifth. We do have envelopes for you guys. Uh, Len's out there uh, making up the, uh, the paperwork now. So uh, thanks very much to uh, the big unlimited, unrestricted event that ran through yesterday. Uh, our place getters. Okay, I hand back to Ian Bowen, the Commodore. Thanks, Jeff. I guess that means you've run out of things to say. I'm about to start on Jake's. A couple of other course boats, Bob Saviani, come up and uh, thank you. You missed out earlier, but uh, as I mentioned, without you guys being out there all day getting sunburnt, uh, it wouldn't happen. So take that as a as appreciation of our thanks. Thanks very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, Bob's first first time being involved in boat racing, and and you survived. So. I see Jim Ramsey. There we are. Jim Ramsey took his uh, his big Hatteras round and sat off the point all day, and uh, he's come back with no black eyes. That's right. Thanks, Jim. I know you had a, a, a few confrontations there with people who knew, who knew better, but uh, very much appreciate it. As I say, without you guys, it won't happen. I saw Rob wandering off. Look, he's going to do work. Thank you, Jim. As you can see, these are, there's still quite a few of those uh, certificates to be uh, presented. Uh, it gives you an idea of how many people are actually involved in, in, in the racing and putting it on. Uh, again, from my point of view, while I'm, I've got the chance, uh, heartfelt thank you to all of, all of you, all everybody in this room, those that couldn't be here. Uh, it, it just doesn't happen without, without a, that involvement. We're all volunteers. Um, it's the best unpaid job I've never had. <laughs> Um, Lenny, do you want to say a few words while you're, while you're here? Or? Might as well. Everybody knows Lenny. Len Cave. Not too much, just that I'm appreciative of all you guys turning up. You've now realised, well, you've all realised how much effort's in here. I've sent around uh, some envelopes that we missed in the Harold Troy, and there's a couple of little trouble monies in there, um, in there for the guys that didn't get too much. So we're trying to help you out. So the club's actually putting a little bit extra money in. So you'll find there's a couple of little extra envelopes around there too that'll just help you out with the breakdowns, with your travel, with the revenue goals. We just appreciate you coming, coming up again today. We're trying to look at something on the Saturday of that club day, um, which will probably run three or four of the big races uh, and then the junior titles on the Sunday. But just appreciate all you guys, the Aquamagic guys, just everyone for coming up and um, we, we couldn't get a better group of people. Thanks very much for coming. Yeah, thanks, Len. Uh, as I say, everybody will know Len because he's the one on the phone chasing boats and, and drivers and, and putting races on. And this year we've had races on, races off, um, such as the nature of the sport. Um, I understand Craig wants to say another little word. And over. All right. Once again, thanks very much to everyone. I think it's uh, been exemplified today, we're one big family, it's a bit of a travelling road show and the like. Just wanted to highlight, we've got some very big meetings coming up, uh, round two of the Australian Formula Powerboat Grand Prix Series, the 9th and 10th of uh, March at uh, Lake Wang and Griffith. One week later, a really big uh, charity weekend with the Archer Eid at, uh, at Kerrang there, uh, Lake Charm. Uh, next one, the Big Easter Show on the, on the Manning River, the Easter Spectacular there. 
the 30th, 31st of March and the 1st of April, and the big EC Griffith Cup, uh, Steve, the 28th, 29th of April at uh, Derrinal there at Sports, uh, Sports uh, Boat uh, Road there. So, um, look, on behalf of all the committee here at uh, Sir George, um, Ian, Lenny, Geoffrey, they've done a fabulous job. A big thank you to the people upstairs. Um, unfortunately, uh, we got a good day in yesterday. Not so good uh, today. The club needs a big dose of luck. Uh, it's a really good club here. We need a lot more people to support it, however. Um, as Geoffrey said, travel home safely and we hope to see you at the next event. Thank you very much. Thank, thanks, Craig. Uh, we're just about done. I've, I've mentioned everybody except all our, our club committee. Um, they don't get much more reward than just our, my thanks, my personal thanks for being involved. And Bob, Bob Hardwick and, and Peter's up, the, up there and uh, Ray up on, on the flags yesterday. Uh, Ian Campbell out on the course boats. Uh, they're the guys that are in the background that, that don't necessarily get the recognition they deserve. As I said, it's everybody's in. Everybody contributes. Paul, our uh, rear commodore out there in the boat running around. We're up there Friday night putting that barge back together. Uh, thank you, Paul. Uh, and just in concluding, uh, I, I thank you to everybody. It, it, it doesn't happen without everybody invo being involved. And thank you for your cooperation. Uh, everybody was uh, more than cooperative this weekend. No blues, no, no crankheads. Uh, it, it just all worked. So uh, thank you again. Thank for your patronage. Hope to see you all uh, at, at the, uh, on the 24th of June and uh, if not, at the next Spectacular. Thank you. <laughs>